this week is going to be probably one of the most important weeks for Bitcoin in such a long time. Yes, right now, guys, this week, there are so many things going on for crypto and Bitcoin, not only Bitcoin, though, but altcoins are literally hanging on a thread right now. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about if you should be selling your altcoins, about what on earth is coming up for Bitcoin this week, because there are so many events for crypto, sorry, that you have to keep paying attention to, because if you're holding Bitcoin, trading Bitcoin or even altcoins, even worse, there is going to be massive volatility this week and I want you to be prepared. As always, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. As always, if you do want to win $200, all you have to do is comment down below today's video and at the end of the video, I'll flash on the screen the winner because today is Monday and comment down below if you want to win next week. Just make sure you have that notification bell switched on. So what on earth is going on with Bitcoin right now? Well, first of all, we'll do some price analysis because Bitcoin has had a little bit of a recovery. I mean, it's really nothing too crazy, but we, we pumped up about 2%. Again, nothing crazy whatsoever. But we are still in this falling wedge situation right here, which predominantly, if we didn't have what was going on with the SEC and all the ongoing events this week, if we didn't have that going on, I would think, hey, Bitcoin is going to be quite bullish. We're going to see a break most likely up to this price level up here of about $30,000. And things are looking up. However, that simply is not the case right now because we are seeing many things happening this week. For example, today, Monday, there is a deadline for Binance and Binance US to respond to SEC's application for a temporary restraining order. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we have the motion for the temporary restraining order hearing. We have the CPI data release uh, as well, and also we have the document release for XRP. Wednesday, we have the US uh, rate decision and the uh, FOMC statement. Thursday, we have more things, and Friday, we have the Eurozone CPI and many other things as well. This whole whole week is completely jam-packed with things which could be affecting crypto. Now, if you are a trader and you do like to make the most of volatility, I have the best possible bonuses available down below on Bybit and OKX. You can get thirty dollars or $60,000 bonus up to if you are meeting the deposit requirements. And boy, oh boy, we are going to have some big volatility coming in the next couple of days. When we take a look at these CPI numbers, we can see that the forecast is in fact 4.1% right here. However, it depends what the actual is going to be. Most likely, it's going to be lower than last month, um, right there from May 10th. However, it really depends on if the forecast and actual is different and how um, the market reacts to this. Usually, if we are in fact seeing a lower number than forecasted, it is very positive. But also, the previous one was quite high at 4.9%. And most likely, we are going to see it less than that. So we could see a small increase in the markets right there. And this could in fact push us back to the upside right here, at least to this level of resistance right here at $27,500. But I would love to know your thoughts on the this on, on the CPI numbers. If you think we are going to be bullish for this or bearish, leave a comment down below. That will enter you into that giveaway of $200 every single Monday. So realistically, we could see a break from the Bitcoin price right here if it was to go bullish. But I really wouldn't enter any trades until we are seeing it break at least, at least this level right here of $26,600. $675. I personally wouldn't be trading above uh, before that at all. If you did want to get a cheeky trade in before then, well, you could ride it up um, from the current price up to this price around 3%, but that's probably not going to get anyone uh, anyone's appetite wet with a 3% profit in crypto. That is just not going to happen. The worst case scenario we could see, guys, and I've talked about this before, if we're taking a look at the weekly chart, we do in fact have a bearish cross on the MACD right here for the weekly. We have a second candlestick playing out right here on the weekly MACD chart. And this is looking very, very bearish. The last time this happened, Bitcoin did in fact dump around 40%. It was from here, from exactly here to about here. We can see right there from the cross to the next cross, we can see we did dump around 40 to 44%. I covered that in yesterday's video. So let's see. Also, I would love Bitcoin to get above this 200 weekly moving average as well. If we can get above that, things could start to look upwards. So what else is going on, guys? Well, crypto it, at a pretty much hold is down a lot, but we are starting to see a little bit more of a move towards the upside for altcoins. If we see in the last 24 hours, Cardano is up 8%. 
Aptos is up 8%, Sui is up, Polygon, Flare, Mask Network, all these different ones down here. We can see uh, Phantom as well, XRP up a couple of percent. But if we take a look at the seven day um, overall percentage change, they are still down heavily in the 30%. And I think that's muchly because tomorrow for the motion or uh, for temporary Binance US restraining order, and also maybe the CPI numbers uh, tomorrow as well, and also today for this Binance uh, re response. They want to see how they are going to handle this, how Binance are going to respond, what the narrative is with that response before we are seeing any major moves. But long term, this could be a great play um, to, in fact, pick up some of these as long as they aren't team securities, because at the moment, it's looking quite likely. And that could be very, very detrimental to a lot of these altcoins as well. So I would love to know your thoughts down below. Taking a quick look at Pepe, because I always get asked about Pepe, what is going on? Well, we take a look at the daily chart right here. We can see Pepe is hanging on by a thread. This is pretty much the last level of support that we could find, that I could find on the chart. I did tell you all the way back here, most likely it's just better to sell Pepe and move on, try and find gains elsewhere. And since then, we've seen a further 50% drop. So if you did listen to me back then, of course, not financial advice. If you haven't already seen over on my YouTube channel, on the homepage right there, I have uploaded two new videos right there. A full OKX tutorial, which I really rec recommend you check out. OKX is one of the biggest exchanges that is right now and if we actually go over to coin market cap we go to exchanges we go to uh, spot we can see okx is number six right there and if we go to derivatives right there we can see okx is actually the second largest exchange when it comes to derivatives of course Binance cannot, cannot compete with Binance just yet. They are a massive, massive powerhouse. However, with everything going on right now with Binance, this could definitely be the time to move away from there if you are trading. Of course, the two exchanges that I recommend the most are right there, number two, number three. They are linked down below if you do want to learn more about them. And I do have a $100 per day uh, trading uh, video right there. If you want to make $100 per day trading, this could be a great place to go ahead and check out this video right now. So that's pretty much it for the, today's video, guys. Again, I'm going to be updating you most likely tomorrow and tomorrow i do travel and i leave dubai for a couple of months so if you are interested in that go ahead and follow me over on instagram it's at crypto jack and twitter as well at crypto jack it's all the same thing thanks so much for watching today's video guys and i'll catch you in the next one